Protests build on the streets of Bangkok while inside the halls of government, Thailand's prime minister fights for her political life. Blowing whistles and chanting, get out, protesters surrounded the Thai Interior Ministry on Tuesday. This after anti-government crowds stormed two other ministry buildings Monday in an effort to bring down Prime Minister Ying Luck Sinawat's government. It's not violence. It's the right of the people, according to the Constitution, that we have the right to express our feelings. We have a bad leader who never thinks about what's right but a leader who thinks about her own benefits. With protests intensifying, security has ratcheted up outside Parliament. Inside, lawmakers began two days of debate ahead of a no-confidence vote. So far, the Prime Minister refuses to step down. The accusations against me are too severe and unjust. Protesters accuse Ying Luck of being a puppet for her brother, former Prime Minister Thaksin Sinawat. He was ousted in a military coup seven years ago and now lives in self-imposed exile. A government-backed amnesty bill that would have allowed Taksin to return without facing jail time for a corruption conviction sparked protests last month. Be compelled to respond in some way. To make... And at least one political analyst says the situation doesn't look good for the current government. The protesters are piling up the pressure in hope of trying to find uh, an outside intervention to, uh, to break down the government. So we are at a deadlock and something we'll have to give uh, this week somehow. So far, protests have remained mostly peaceful. But the longer they continue, analysts say the risk of violence only increases. Fanula Sweeney, CNN.